Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and I'm in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm so excited today. I'm in a cab right now. We're driving over to the cruise terminal. We're going to be going on the Carnival Glory. This video is going to be about day one, embarkation day. I didn't realize it at the time, but the Carnival Glory did switch destinations, but the Carnival Liberty is coming in instead. Both ships are very similar, so this video will be useful for anybody that is going to be sailing with Carnival in the future, or any cruise line for that matter. This is your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks, and I'm going to be taking you through Embarkation Day in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm cruising today with my husband, Kelly. I got in trouble. <laughs> Make sure you hold your own boarding pass. <laughs> right off the bat, he got in trouble for holding my license and my boarding papers. Prior to boarding, Carnival lets you pick a preferred check-in time, which I think is great. I don't really care about being on the cruise really early. I kind of like letting everybody go first, so I picked the latest check-in time possible. And look, we sailed right in. <laughs> See what I did there? We cruised in, we sailed in. I filmed as much as I could. I was asked to put my camera down several times. The check-in for us was very fast and very painless. When we got dropped off by taxis, the cruise porters were right there. They took our luggage for us. This made this very easy to get around. You could also choose to keep the luggage yourself. You don't have to give it to the cruise porters, but it makes walking a lot easier. Your boarding pass will have your stateroom and your muster station on it. Even though we had a later check-in, our stateroom still was not gonna be ready. It's a very nice walkway, but it's quite a bit of a walk. So if you or somebody else in your party has a little difficulty walking, you may wanna get some assistance. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I love, love going on cruise ships. Personally, this is my ninth time cruising with Carnival and is my first time cruising out of New Orleans. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. This is a week long cruise. Ports we're gonna be visiting are Mahogany Bay, Belize, and Cozumel. This cruise left on a Sunday. We flew in on a Saturday and spent the night in New Orleans. If you're thinking of coming the day before, and you should, first of all, New Orleans is really cool. Second of all, always come a day early because the cruise waits for no one. So if you are flying in, and your plane is late, they're not gonna wait for you. So come a day early if you can. I'm gonna leave a playlist of the two hotels we stayed in before and after the cruise and the playlist at the end of this video as well as other videos I made about New Orleans. Take a look below, do you see your luggage down there? All that luggage is waiting to go on the ship. This is the first of probably about 10 videos that I'm gonna be making of this seven day cruise. Daily videos about what we did that day, including the ports, what we ate, there's gonna be a whole video about food and the casino. Oh my gosh, I'm so psyched. This is my first time seeing the Carnival Glory in person. Yay, I'm so excited. Come take the tour with us. Not bad at all coming in here. There was no gridlock. I highly recommend if you don't like crowds, setting up a later time to come in. This whole experience was so painless. First thing we're gonna do is let's just get this muster station thing out of the way. Everybody gets assigned a destination to report to. If you're new to cruising, a muster station is just pretty simple. God forbid there was some emergency. It's just a place that you would report to. They just wanna make sure that you know where it is. Now with that out of the way, what do we do? Let's walk through the casino. It is not open yet. The casino is not open when it is docked in New Orleans. If you're interested in seeing this casino in more detail, I'll be making a whole video about the casino coming up very soon. Most people, when they get on the cruise, the first thing you're gonna do is go up to the Lido deck and go get some lunch. If you're new to cruising, food is a big thing here and they have like a big buffet upstairs going on all the time as well as hamburgers and pizza. You're not gonna starve on the cruise, that is for sure. These are the opportunities I like to use to go around and take videos of the town and what it looks like from the dock. And I also use this opportunity to go to places like Serenity, which is usually really busy. Here is a look at the New Orleans steamboat. There was a Norwegian cruise line also sailing out the same day. If you're enjoying this video, can you do me a favor and hit that little like button, illuminate that thing for me. It just tells YouTube that this video was helpful and then YouTube will recommend it to other people that may need to see this and that would help me greatly. So I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much.
So do tell me, how many Carnival cruises have you been on? Is this your first one that you're going on? Did you plan it yet? Let me know in the comments below. Where are you in your planning phases? I've been cruising for about 30 years and I used to always like have a cruise book before I even got off the one I was even on. <laughs> it was so great to just try them all. Okay, now it's time to go see the actual ship. <laughs> Come take the tour with me. I'm gonna leave some of this sound raw so you could hear as well as see how it sounds on the Carnival Cruise on Embarkation Day. I didn't plan it this way, but it just so happened that it was spring break week and there was a lot of families and a ton of teachers. Still ahead, I'm gonna share with you a room tour of an inside cabin. But first, let's go check out Carnival Glory's Serenity. This is where you could usually find me and Kelly hanging out. The Serenity area is 21 and up. <laughs> How far is the water? A lot of this channel is about resort tours and how I travel all the time and the places I go. But I go to a lot of casinos and Bally's in Atlantic City offered me a certificate from Carnival. It was a free cruise for two for up to seven nights. I was so excited. I thought like, could this be true? But this is actually the second one I took. I also went on the Carnival of Venezia last summer. I believe it was August from New York City. That was really great too, but I figured Hey, I've never been in New Orleans before. Let's let's try it, you know, go to a new city I've never been to and go on a new cruise that I've never been on. Many thanks to Bally's AC and to Carnival. The free cruises are not totally free. You still have to pay for taxes and port charges and tips. Still a great deal if you ask me. I just have to make sure I get my butt into the casino this week. <laughs> Can't take the free cruise and not gamble at all. But that's usually not a problem for me because I enjoy it. And we are moving. Goodbye, New Orleans. We'll see you next Sunday. We're going to have two fun and relaxing days at sea. And our first stop is going to be Mahogany Bay, Honduras. It's funny. See how, like, nobody's even looking at their phones? One of the many reasons I love cruising is the whole disconnect. Unless you pay per day or per week for internet, you don't have any. Like, none. Carnival has an app you could use for some entertainment. You know, it shows you like what time dinner is, when the shows and events are. But as far as like going on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all the social medias, email, internet, all of that, you would have to pay for that. It's pretty pricey too. I think it was $25 per day. I did get it once just so that I could get my videos together. My husband Kelly downloads music and podcasts into his phone ahead of time. So he has some entertainment. And me, I just like the quiet time. I just love cruising. There is just so much ruckus in everybody's life from the moment we get up, the first thing we do, all of us are guilty of it, is grab our phone. We start with just looking at what time it is and then it goes to Facebook, Instagram, the news, the weather. It's just all this information, process, 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 process. <laughs> it's just so nice when you can put your phone down and not even think about it. Our cabin is ready. Do you guys want to see what it looks like? Don't get too excited. It's just a small inside cabin. Your room key will be inserted in the mailbox that is right by your door. I could have upgraded, but I really don't care. <laughs> if I want to go see the water, I will go outside myself and go see it. I actually like the inside cabin. It's very peaceful. And I just kind of like the coziness of it. And because it's so dark, I sleep so good. It's a perfect size for two people that get along well. <laughs> Inside your cabin, you're gonna find an itinerary of what is going on that day. To refer to the schedules, you could use that, your phone app, and they also display it on the TV as well. There is a save and there is water, but if you do drink this, you will have to pay for it, but it wasn't really expensive. There is also a little refrigerator in the room too. That's pretty cool. I did see some people like bringing sodas on board. I'm not really sure what the deal is. You're not allowed to bring alcohol though. I think you're allowed to bring one bottle of wine and I believe that is per person. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Seriously guys, if you're looking for luxury accommodations, <laughs> cruising may not be for you. Unless you wanna spring for the big suites, they may be a little fancier, but you know, it's basically bare bone, but functional. It's everything that you would need. 
we honestly use our cabin to sleep, shower, and in midday, if it gets really crazy crowded everywhere, we use it as a nice little escape. They were having a naked and afraid marathon on one day, and we're sitting there watching these people like on this desert island starving, and we're like, hey, I'm hungry, you wanna go to the buffet? <laughs> Here is a peek at some of the food that we ordered in the main dining room on night one. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is one of the best meals that I had on the ship. It was a vegetarian Wellington. It was so good, I highly recommend that. We did your time dining on the last cruise. This time we did early dining and we really enjoyed it. We had a really cool group of people that we sat with. I'm gonna be doing a video of everything we ate on the cruise coming up in the near future. After dinner, we took a little walk outside to see what was going on. Then we went to the Amber Palace showroom to see what was going on over there. The first night, it's pretty much like a welcome aboard show. They pull a couple of passengers up, make them do things that they would probably only do if they were on a cruise. At the end of the show, the entertainment staff came out and did a couple songs. Not too much going on the first night, but later in the week, there's going to be a lot going on. So look out for my other videos about what we did in a day on the Carnival Glory. If you made it this far, you're a total rock star. Check out these playlists for more of my videos. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. If you're thinking about booking a cruise, do it. Book that cruise. Pack your bags and go. Always remember to be well to yourself and kind to others. Safe travels to you.